Hey, Richard Knutson here again, and this demonstration definitely goes in the category of things I've been been meaning to do for quite a while, but never quite got around to until now. And what I'm going to show you here is uh, how to create a workflow process in Dynamic CRM 2011 to automate what, for my organization, is an important part of our marketing efforts. That is how we follow up on email marketing interactions like opens and click-throughs. So to start, just a little bit of background. I do email marketing directly within Dynamic CRM 2011 and I use a tool called Core Motives from a company called Core Motives that has a few components to add on to Dynamic CRM 2011. It's got a nice HTML editor that I can use to create the HTML for the emails that I send out. So here's an example here. The March Dynamic CRM News You Can Use email newsletter. So this is a mailing based on this template that I created with their tool. And once the mailing is delivered, we get lots of nice statistics about what happened. So I can see how many of the uh, recipients, how many opens, unopens, bounces there were, but much better than statistics. I get interactions so I can actually see, tie this to contact or lead records directly within Dynamic CRM, these interactions. So whether it's a click, scroll down a little bit, and we can see bounces, fix up my data, see opens, and the nice thing about this is these interactions are tied, as I said, directly to a Dynamic CRM contact record, since that's who my emails go out to. And the way Core Motives did this add-on to Dynamic CRM, this is a custom entity, and I can customize that entity if I need to, and I can do things like write workflows for it. So what I want to do, really what I'm going to show you in this demonstration, is how to create a workflow to route these interactions to somebody's queue for appropriate follow-up when certain things happen. And in order to have the workflow route these interactions to the appropriate queue, for example, if a certain interaction like a click happens, somebody actually gets one of these emails and clicks through to the web page that you can see here, that we've got uh, stored within this custom entity, I need to make a small customization to the Core Motives interaction entity. And to see that, I'll open up this interaction form and use in place customization, new feature in Dynamic CRM 2011 that I use every day. Click Customize. And I'm going to click Customize Entity because what I want to do here is turn on queue support for this. Entity. Now I've actually already done it, and you can see it if I scroll down here a little bit. I'm customizing the interaction entity, and you can see that queues is checked in. Uh, it's not by default in Dynamic CRM 2011. All items can support queues, all record types, I should say, but by default only cases and activities do. So I came in here and checked that previously to save some time so I've done that and I don't want to do this I don't want to move every record to the owner's default queue I'm gonna have a workflow selectively create queue items only for certain of these so I'll show you how we're gonna do that next I've created a process it's a workflow process so this is going to be an automatic process and it's going to have a scope of organization that means it'll run for any interaction record that gets created you can see that the entity this process is written for is the interaction entity and what I want to do is have this run automatically whenever a new interaction record is created so anytime somebody clicks through one of these emails I send out through core motives it's going to trigger this workflow and the first thing that this workflow is going to do is actually a pretty simple workflow I'm going to have a conditional 
statement. So I came in here and said add step, check condition. And the condition that I want to check is if the interaction type equals click. We could do also do this for opens. And maybe we want to have somebody notified when there's a bounce to go check a email address or something. But for now, let's just keep this simple and only do it for a click. So this low-hanging fruit. Um, and what I want to do is I've got uh, administrator, Marion Nino, who's going to follow up on these clicks. And so this is a simple workflow. All it's going to do is create a record type. And the record type that I want to create in Dynamic CRM is a queue item. This is again is different from Dynamic CRM 4 out. What I want to do is create a queue item and this is a set effectively going to route an instance, create a queue item in the queue and I'm going to click set properties here to show you how this works. I'm going to hardwire this and for this condition I want to create a queue item record in this default queue for the Mary Anino user. So this is going to be Mary's queue. It's going to get a queue item created. And what I want to do is put a link in there to the contact record that this queue, the interaction is for. So I'm going to use dynamic values and go to the queue item field here and click add the contact there so you'll see this is going to give her a link to the contact record that this queue item is created for click save and close here and then I could activate this workflow but I'm not going to do that yet because I want to make one more customization first it has to do with actually an interesting scenario which is customizing the queue item and that's one more thing I'm going to do and I'll show you that next so to see why I want to customize that queue item entity that I mentioned, what I'll do is I've activated that workflow and I'm just going to do a little cheat here and I'm going to run the workflow on this record right here to show you what it looks like when it runs by default. I click run workflow. I expose this route click to queue workflow as an on-demand workflow also and probably when it's in production I uncheck that and make it only so that it runs automatically but for now for testing purposes I usually like to expose those for on-demand access first so now let's go review this queue so here's the queue that uh, you can navigate to a queue in the through the web uh, client by clicking workplace and then queues and then what I've done is selected Mary and Eno's queue here workflow should have had time to run now so let's go ahead and refresh that and here is the record that we created in the queue and what we can see is if I open the queue item the way queue items work is they effectively have a one-to-one -one relationship to the underlying record and this queue item was created for Herb Johnson's contact record so if I click on that link in the queue item, if I double click on the item in the queue it opens the contact record. I can, if I'm careful about it, in the queue, highlight the queue item and click queue item details and this opens the queue item. So here's the item in the queue, there's the record that it's been created for which again is the contact record, the way I set this up. Now one of the nice things about queues is it can really focus a user's attention on just the things that they need to interact with. So I've got a lot of control over what goes into queues. And in this case, the only thing that's in Mary's queue here are just interactions, basically clicks from the interaction entity that I mentioned earlier, the Core Motives custom entity. I want to do one thing though. I want to customize this and make it a little bit more obvious because there might be different things ultimately in this queue. So I'm going to customize the queue item entity. It's a customizable entity in Dynamic CRM and add a source to it, a pick list, so I can flag the kind of information that's in here, where it's coming from. So this is kind of a cool customization. I'll just open it up. Oops, I want to open up the, you got to be careful, I want to open up the queue item details record here. And I'm going to customize this 
and I'll customize the form. I'll do in place customization again. And I'm going to create a custom field. It's a new field. Again, this is a system entity. This is not a custom entity. This comes with Dynamic CRM. This is the queue item entity. And I'm going to call this source. And this is going to be an option set. And I'm just going to create a couple of values for now. The first item will be a link click. And I'm going to be a little bit more specific than this. I'm going to call this an E. I'll call this an email marketing click. That's what this one's going to be. And for now, that's really going to be the only value. So I'll just add one other value other. Now, I'll probably come back to here and add things like web form submit or maybe lead via email. You can imagine other things that I might want to route to somebody's queue and call out in this kind of a way. But for now, that's really the only thing I need. So I'll just do that. And then what we're going to do is put the source on the form. Then I'll save and close the form. And I'll make one other customization and I need to drill into the entity for this. I want to change the view, the queue item view, to show the source so that you can tell at a glance which one it is. I'm just going to change the all items public view for now just to take a shortcut. So there's the type. That's the record type that it points to. But what I want to do is change and add the source so that you can see at a glance. Let's make that a little bit wider. So now I've customized the queue item entity. I'm ready to publish that. So now all I need to do is fix up my workflow. so that it updates that appropriately and I'll be done so I can close out of the queue item let's go back to the workflow now I'll deactivate it because you can't make any changes to a workflow that's active so now all I have to do is go into the create queue item action in the workflow and update the source so here's my custom field that I've added. And since we are in this conditional block, so interaction type equals click, what I can do is I can go in there and update that source so that it will say email marketing click, save and close. And then we need to just activate that process. So I go to the process route click to queue, click activate then I'll pick on another one of Herb's records here the next time I run that workflow or now it when it runs automatically I'll go ahead and run it on demand one more time create one more record in the queue for Herb give it time to run go to the queue and now you can see when these queue item records are going to be created in here going forward you'll be able to see at a glance whether it's an email marketing click you'll be able to see that the record type that it refers to is a contact and if there are other things other sources web form submits various things like that it'll be real obvious that those are here too. So anyway, that's an example of, uh, it's pretty good, sort of a day in the life example of the kinds of things we uh, CRM consultants do all the time. Create an automated process that 
is in the form of a workflow and it relies on a couple of customizations one to a system entity that Q item entity customization that I made here and one to the custom entity that core motives interaction entity so again that's uh, something that I've been meaning to do for a while and I thank you for taking the time to watch me do it and I hope you got something out of this demonstration so Richard Knudsen signing off